Bethlehem's chief of police will be getting a front row seat virtually to President Biden's State of the Union address tonight. Pennsylvania Representative Susan Wilde announced that Chief Michelle Cott will be her hometown hero, virtual guest during tonight's speech. CBS News correspondent Skylar Henry tells us what we can expect from the president's address. President Biden's first State of the Union address would normally be a time for cheers and jeers, but this is not a normal year. Russia's invasion of Ukraine will loom over the president's address and will likely be the first topic he raises. There's no question that this speech um, is a little different than it would have been just a few months ago. The president will need the lawmakers in attendance to pass an emergency spending bill to provide more arms and aid to Ukraine. There will be a lot of unity around helping the Ukrainians with more weapons. But the war in Ukraine will hit Americans in the pocketbook as well. So the president will have to deal with the economic consequences. The economic impacts on energy and food prices as a result of this conflict are not just going to go away in two, three, or four weeks. This is going to be a multi-year challenge. A new CBS News poll shows 70 percent of those surveyed disapprove of how the president has dealt with inflation. The president will once again call on Congress to pass parts of his Build Back Better agenda to help lower costs Americans pay. Lowering costs for child care, lowering costs for elder care, lowering costs for prescription drugs, those are not done yet. So he will reiterate his call for Congress to move forward on those. There was a change to the rules which will make this year's speech look different than last year's joint address to Congress. The House chamber is expected to be full and masks are optional. COVID cases are significantly dropping. Communities are reopening. Mask mandates are reversing. Mask and vaccine rules remain a divisive issue in the country, and protesters are expected to bring it directly to Capitol Hill. Some roads are being blocked to keep lawmakers safe. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Capitol Hill. And you can watch the State of the Union live right here on CBS3. Special coverage starts at 9 tonight.